Hello everybody and welcome to my 49th VBA tutorial and this tutorial is going to carry on going into user forms and show you how to use frames. So if we create ourselves a new user form, a frame is just kind of a square or rectangle um, that you can draw onto your um, user form and what it does is it just groups your buttons together. So if we just create ourselves a frame here, um, first thing I'm going to do in the properties is get rid of the caption because I don't like it having names on my frames. And then border style, I'm just going to have a single border uh, and then I'm just going to call it uh, my frame. And then what we can do is we can take say a label and we can take say some option buttons and we can put them all inside our frame and then by moving the frame around they're just going to move around with it they're now kind of part of that frame and then what you'll find is also as we make change changes to the frame on our code these changes can also affect the things inside so I'm just going to give you a quick example um, and let's just make it pretty so let's change the back color here to dark blue and then change our Uh, frame back color from grey uh, have it as a light blue there we go, that'll do um, so there's our frame and it's got some stuff in it and what I want to do is I just want to have a command button uh, up here that says show slash hide so what's going to happen is as I press show slash hide, the frame's just going to come on and off. So let's come in here and let's just go to user form one dot my frame dot visible equals not. Um, let's just copy this. So that's just going to change whether or not it's visible. So we press play now, press save that side. Each time we press it, it's just going to show it or unhide it. Um, and you'll notice that all the buttons within it go along at the same time. So they're all grouped within that frame. Let's say we have, we make it a bit shorter and copy it. Notice when you copy it, it comes through with all of the other things. And then we can also just put another one over here. This is just to show you that they're separate to each other. So this one is going to be called frame one. So in here, we just want the same code as we had before, but with frame one instead. And then when we press play, that one's just going to control that side, that one's just going to control that side. But all of the buttons within your frames are going to be doing different things. So this is just an easy way of grouping your buttons together uh, and then kind of controlling them all in one go. So that's quite a simple tutorial. I'm just going to leave it there. Um, you can be quite creative with them. Um, but for now, I'm just going to leave them as that might use them in coming examples so thanks for listening and i hope to catch you in the next